Supplies that are needed for the blow dry procedure. You are already draped from your haircut. You may need to change your sani strip. You need a round brush, four or more sectioning clips, alligator or duckbill clips are suggested, a blow dryer, a concentrator nozzle is optional, a rat tail comb, and a cloth towel. I'm going to read the instructions for your blow dry styling techniques. 15 minutes. You will now blow dry out the top, the crown to the front hairline, and one side section of the head using a round bristle brush. Any starting point is acceptable. You are not required to re-wet the hair, but you may do so if you choose. Please note that only water, no product may be used. You must show control of the blow drying procedure. Sectioning clips should be used. Random drying is not acceptable. You may use a concentrator nozzle. Upon completion, step back to indicate that you are finished. After your examiner has checked your blow drying procedure, please plug in and turn on your Marcel iron. Set up other supplies for curling iron techniques portion of this exam. Then step back and quietly wait for further instructions. You have 15 minutes to complete this procedure and you may now begin. Once you are done setting up your supplies, the examiners will be walking around looking at them. Once the supervisor has read instructions and the timer is set, you are then allowed to begin your blow dry procedure. Sectioning is part of your time. You may need to replace your sani strip and redrape. Be sure your sani strip is in place and above the cape so that it's visible. You can secure your cape with a clip. You may re-wet the hair if you choose to. It should already be 80% with the moisture removed from the haircut. When sectioning out, the top is going to go from the outside edge of the eye to the apex. So you need to blow dry the top and one side. Whichever side is your choice, clip the other hair back out of your way. So 
So your sectioning will go from the outside edge of the eye up to the apex and from the apex down to behind the ear. You're going to start at the bottom side with roughly a one inch subsection. Your tools must remain in your hand throughout the entire procedure. So leave your blow dryer on and in your hand. When you start your blow dry procedure, lift for volume, concentrate on your scalp, and then out to your ends. Very important to make sure your airflow stays from the scalp to the ends. You want to keep your cuticle smooth down so airflow from the scalp to the ends with your elbow up. Any size round brush is acceptable. However, if you use a larger one, you can use larger subsections. If you choose to use your concentrator nozzle, you can put the blow dryer closer to the hair than you would if you did not have that on. You should stay two to three inches away from the hair which the, the concentrator nozzle is allowing you. So again, bring down your next subsection, scalp to ends, airflow keeping your cuticle smooth down, concentrating on your scalp, and then out to the ends. Don't be afraid to move your mannequin so that you can reach her head easier. Continue taking down subsections on the side. Clip your other hair up out of your way. Keep your sectioning neat. So elbow up. Airflow from scalp to end. When blow drying the top section of the head, you need to use subsections and clips to keep the other hair out of your way. You can make your partings using your clips or the end of the brush. The hair is going to be rolled away from the face. So again, concentrating on the scalp, working out to the ends, focusing on your airflow direction from the scalp to the ends. You want to keep tension and control of the brush at all times.
take your next subsection. Rolling away from the face. Continue with each section until the hair is thoroughly dried. Make sure you're holding the blow dryer by the handle. You can go back through and double check to ensure that it's completely dry. Be sure the hair is thoroughly dry before stepping back for your examiner to check it. Check the scalp, run out to the ends. If you have any spots that are questionable and possibly damp, go back in with your blow dryer and concentrate on those areas as long as your time is permitting. Check again. Once you put your tools down, then you're going to step back and your examiner will come over and check for thorough dryness. Once your examiner has checked, you can then begin packing your supplies for blow dry procedure back into your plastic bag.
Once you've finished packing, place them back in the transport bag and get out your bag for Marcel Thermal Curling Procedure.